What's going on, everybody? My name is Jonathan Mackney. You're watching That Guy Talks. We are in Mojo Creative Studio. I'm joined with my buddy Jonah. He's going to tell you a little bit why we're here. How's it going, everybody? My name is Jonah Van Bemelen. I work for Mojo Creative. Um, we are a creative agency that specializes in weddings and engagements and all other events. And I also freelance as uh, Van Bemelen Photography. For what, everything that you want to know, capture Mojo or Van Bemelen Photography, uh, link in the description, and you can also follow him on Instagram here. Okay, so I've kind of surrounded myself with creatives who have helped me through the way I didn't take it in school. But um, like my partners Mike and Sean have helped out a lot. Um, well, how did you how did you meet that? How did so, Mojo come together? Do you so mind just no, no, yeah. yeah. So Mike and I went to college together. Okay. Um, and when he was in Australia studying abroad, he met Sean. Sweet. And um, they became friends. They both had a similar dream. They came back here and wanted to start a company together. And fast forward about a year or two later, um, I was getting pretty into photography. Um, and I had the idea to kind of start doing recruiting videos for sports. Okay. And uh, I told Mike my idea and I wanted to kind of branch off something with him because I didn't even know the joke existed. And so he said, and it's ground level. Yeah, so he said this could be a great opportunity to join forces, and um, that's how we started Mojo. Uh, so Mojo has been around for about, I want to say, three or four years since okay. before I got there. Mm -hmm. I joined, um, I would say, about three years. Okay, perfect. Let's dive in. Today he's going to be teaching me how to use my new camera. So when you just get the camera, you're not going to be able to just start shooting. You're going to have to have the battery, know how to put the battery in, and also the SD card. Um, because this is your, your memory. This is where all your pictures memory, go. <laughs> all alone in the moonlight. So you put this in. <laughs> some cats. <laughs> so you can put this in here. It's actually some school of rock. It is. That's, that's, that's what I know. I know. <laughs> so you put that in there. If you wanted to disengage it, just tap it. Okay. So pull it up. Let's pop it in. And here's your. Where's that guy going? There? This guy goes in. Right in. Oh, oh, flip, flip, flip it around. Like, lenses and uh, every camera should have this button to uh, dislodge the lens mm -hmm. so you're gonna push down on that and you're gonna turn it okay. and that should pull it off Sweet. all right right now I also have this this right. lens here so then to put on so we're gonna take off this cap that protects the lens so where is the lens is the entire thing correct okay. uh, so this is the shooting side of the lens but this is the side that goes into your camera mm -hmm. so that back on and you're going to want to line up this circle with the circle on here. So it goes in, mm -hmm. turn it till so it clicks. Okay. Once it cl if it doesn't click, it won't shoot a picture. So what is okay. this? So this is your zoom lens. Um, it's a 55 to 210. Mm -hmm. You can see um, this is your length on here. So it goes all the way to there. Um, what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to look through your lens finder. And um, mm -hmm. why why is it better to look through the lens finder compared to looking at the screen? What is the difference? I mean, you, a lot of people shoot video through the screen, mm -hmm. um, but to really be crisp with your image, you're gonna want to look here because you can really see where you're zooming in and get your framing right because this is your frame. Say we're shooting the IPA, mm -hmm. and then you push down the button. You don't push it down hard enough to take a picture. You want just to, to focus. focus. Yeah. Okay. So I'm taking a picture of the IPAs. ID. Flexible, yeah, flexible yeah, um, legs. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of set it how you want. So you can go lower, you can go higher. In order to put your camera into a tripod, you have this on the bottom. And you put it into here. And you twist. It's all hooked up. This actually is too. It's really cool. The, uh, top part. the top part. Okay. Yeah. Just that. Just that. So it didn't really have to be the spider legs. <laughs> See, it's a pretty clear image. Because we didn't have my handshake, um, it 
it gets extra. Like a handshake? <laughs> the key for it is it's such as like when you zoom in so far, mm -hmm. any little shake will show. Just okay. So the longer your lens is, um, say you have like a 600, you're gonna want everything on the tripod because any little movement that you make is gonna show mm -hmm. as far as zoom. So if, say you have a, a prime lens, um, so I I mostly shoot on a, a 50 50 prime. So it doesn't have any zoom. So your legs are your actually your zoom. So if you want to get something closer, you gotta move in or you gotta move that out. Okay. Uh, do you like that better? I do, because it's gonna have a very crisp image because there's no zoom. Mm -hmm. um, you don't really need the tripod, it's for you to kind of walk around. Um, my favorite photographer of all time, uh, his name is Jim Marshall. He shot some of the best images. You probably you probably seen his stuff but not known his name. Mm -hmm. um, he has the Johnny Cash flipping the bird picture. The okay, prison. yes. Um, the Jimi Hendrix guitar on fire. Okay. You were the Stones, Bob Dylan. Um, he primarily shot with just a either a 35 or a 50 prime. And did. And he was just running around the stage with it. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, yeah. Um, and his stuff is unbelievable. Yeah. So we're looking at your camera with your lens on there. That looks like a monster. Can you explain to me what that is? So this is uh, my wedding lens. And uh, it's a 70 to 200, mm -hmm. so it's got a little bit of zoom to it, um, and it keeps the image really crisp. I'm getting my settings right right now to show you how to take a picture if you want to come see. Um, so this is in manual. Um, this is what we were discussing before. Um, we're going to want to change these. So there's the F set. I'm not going to want something so far. We'd probably want something around an F8. And here is my shutter speed. Mm -hmm. um, so that isn't going to really matter in this picture we're just because something we're taking still. something that's still. As you can see, here's a pretty crisp image of the yards from all the way from where we were sitting. Mm -hmm. That one's even crisper. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. Exactly. Yeah. So where are we going? The roof. Raise the roof. What if I just went like this? This is a that guy talks first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Turkey and beer. All right, so we're gonna throw in some uh, garlic dill JBB Brothers pickles in here. What's JBB Brothers? Uh, so that is a company that my brother and I run. Uh, we do hot sauces, pickles, um, kimchi, mustards. We got oh, all kinds of stuff. So very nice. We're gonna throw this in the mix. Let's throw it on the sandwich. Cool. Dual marketing here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try your, what is the hottest sauce you got? Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper, let's see. Pull it out. That's what she said. That's not left, but got some Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper. Okay. <laughs> if you guys want to see me do the Carolina Reaper challenge, throw a comment down below. I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Jonathan McAbee. This is Jonah Van Benelin. Jonah, tell them where they can find you. All right, guys, you can find us on Instagram at Capture Mojo. That's how you find us at Mojo Creative. And uh, you can find me at Van Bem Photography, which is B-A-N-B-E-M -E Photography. Um, yeah, just give us a follow and check us out. So from all of us here at That Guy Talks, let's cue that music! That's a wrap.